Aries, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Aries, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Aries, if there's a specific amount of money you would like to make, or if there's someone special in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And Aries, for a fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can also find her info in the description box below. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, Seven of Swords. And right now, your angels are telling you to be strategic with your energy. So, for example, what is your one-year game plan, three-year game plan, five-year game plan, 10-year game plan? Why is this important? Because when you have a strategy, your perception changes. For example, if you don't have a game plan, you may be telling yourself, oh, I don't like going to work. This isn't my dream job. What am I doing? But if you have a game plan, maybe you're telling yourself, all right, I'm going to come to work. And then in a year from now, I'm going to make collaborations, network, and, and learn how to, uh, how this whole thing works. And I'm going to go start my own business, right? So there's, you know, having that perception, having that game plan really points you in the right direction. Now you got the Hermit, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So much money here for you. So many opportunities when it comes to your wealth. Knight of Pentacles, this is crazy. This is unbelievable. Now you also have the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, the Devil, King of Swords next to the Queen of Wands, very interesting, and the Hangman. Now, Aries, your affirmation for today is I invite the energy of love. I invite the energy of love. Welcome this energy into your life. I invite the energy of love. Write that down in the comment section. Quantum entangle with this energy. Let the universe know. I invite the energy of love into your life. Write that down. All right, so right now it's like you have so many, so many opportunities when it comes to your wealth. I see this new energy of abundance, this energy you're passionate about. Also, this energy you're very, very good at, right? So there's something here that you are very, very good at doing, something that is effortless to you that you can monetize, something that's deep down inside that you may not even know you can monetize. And I see that this energy is going to come into your life in the form of a download, some sort of aha moment. You're gonna be like, whoa, I never even thought of this. And that energy right there is your angels and guides speaking to you. And sometimes we feel like it's our idea, but it's really not, it comes from the field. Now, I'll give you an example. When your angel speaks to you, it comes in the form of feelings or images, rarely is it words. So when you think of something and you have an image, you think it's a thought, it's actually your intuition guiding you and your quantum entangling with one of the infinite number of realities and that's how your angels and guides speak to you. And I see here right now, they're telling you to follow your passion, follow your bliss, follow your joy, and when you do so, you're going to surrender and let go and that's when this opportunity is presented to you. So for example, what does that really mean? Imagine your mind, right? Imagine your mind is constantly, constantly thinking, because it is. From the moment you wake up, you're problem solving. And when you are thinking, you are not receiving. But when you stop thinking, that's when you're receiving. It's like, we can sing together, we can't speak together. So it's either like, you're going to be speaking or you're going to be listening. When you're Now replace the word speaking for thinking. Your angels and guides wanna tell you what to do, but they're just waiting for their turn to speak. Their turn to speak is when you stop thinking. But our minds have been so conditioned since the moment we're born that you have to immediately have to think about something, problem solve. When you wake up immediately, what do I do, right? And that right there, that right there, that's why meditation, that hour power in the morning, 30 minutes before you go to sleep, 30 minutes in the morning, it is so important, so crucial. That is when you're given your guidance. That is how you set the intention for the day or the night. That is how you reprogram your subconscious mind to win. And I see here right now, they're telling you to follow your passion. Now, how is following your passion have anything to do when it comes to your financial energy? When you don't resist anything, you don't resist everything. What is your passion about right now? What is your intuition guiding you? What do you love doing? Now, this doesn't necessarily mean what is your life's passion. I mean, I'm not asking you, you know, like, what do you want to be doing for the rest of your life? What is your passion this very second? For example, right now you're sitting at home. After this read, you have a couple different options, right? Maybe the option is to watch TV. Next one is to read a book. Next one is to go exercise. Next one is to go to the grocery store or for a walk or call your friend or just journal. Now, none of these are better than the other. It's not like it's good or bad. Watching TV is absolutely fine. Going for a walk is absolutely fine. Each one has its own energy. Now, what is your passion right now? For example, which one of these do you wanna do the most? Which one excites you the most? Even a little bit more than the rest, 
that is your next move. Now, how does that lead to, you know, creating wealth? Well, when you follow your passion and you do it to its fullest, even if you're like, I'm going to watch TV, sit there, watch TV, own it. Be like, I love this show. Maybe you're like, I want to go to a coffee shop. Go to the coffee shop, grab a book, read it, drink your coffee, be present in the moment. Well, go on your phone, whatever, but own it. Just be present. When you follow your passion, you surrender and let go. When you surrender and let go, that's when the downloads, insights, and clarities come. Now, from there, what is your next passion? What is your next passion? Follow your passion, not what's analytical, practical, realistic. Follow your passion. When you do so, now the limiting beliefs, shadows, energetic roadblocks, they all get cleared. Now your angels and guides actually have a clear path and they're able to speak to you and they're going to guide you and they're going to remind you of what your next step is. And right now, the energy that I'm picking up is there's a lot of opportunities here, but the thing is there's a lot of lingering energy. There's a lot of familiar past energy right now that has to get cleared. And one trick that I love to use is remember like, when you control your thoughts, you control your destiny. It's as simple as pie. You wanna get rich, control your thoughts. You wanna meet your soulmate, control your thoughts. Why is that? How you think equals how you feel. How you feel is your state of being. Your state of being is your reality. So what does this mean? How you think will determine your destiny, right? So have happy thoughts, get happy results, right? So in this case, it's like whenever you catch yourself slipping, like for example, you have a thought, uh oh, it's a scarcity thought. When you're aware of it, first and foremost, understand this thought is not a good thought. Why? Because your GPS, your emotional guiding system, which is your emotions, lets you know this doesn't feel good, right? And that's the universe's warning sign, countdown to a manifestation going, gone wrong. Five, four, Three, you don't want to be staying in that energy. The moment that you feel there's some sort of resistance, the moment you feel fear in an energy, immediately let it go. That's the most part. How do you let it go? Change your thoughts to something else. For example, you're telling yourself, oh man, you know, I wish I had, you know, someone to, to enjoy this, you know, uh, food with. I wish I had my soulmate was here. I can't believe I got to eat this solo, right? Immediately when you're like, oh, that doesn't even feel like a good thought. At that point, do the exact opposite. Art of War Sun Tzu. I like to tell myself, in that case, I'd be like, oh man, I'm going to be enjoying this meal one day with my soulmate. It's going to be so good. I'm going to tell them how good it is. I'm going to take them to my favorite restaurant. I'm so excited. They're going to love it. I cannot wait. Feel as if you're already doing this, right? Change your thoughts, change your perception, change your life. And I also do see here someone that has that special magnetic energy as yourself. Someone who's the yin to your yang, really waiting right now, waiting for you. And you gotta understand that if you are waiting for your soulmate, your soulmate is waiting for you. Match their energy, strategically plan to change your thoughts, become the cause and effect, and now your personality will create your personal reality. All right, Aries, I'm gonna pull a final message from your spirit guides. Oh no, excuse me, not final message. I'm gonna first, first pull your animal spirit, my favorite. Look at this koala spirit. First off, look at the third eye. Oh my goodness, isn't that? Look at her look, oh my goodness. And then look at the message, spirit has a plan. The look that she has is the same look as my weeder dog. Oh, I love her. So right now, the message is right now, this is a reminder that spirit has a plan, divine timing, divine intervention, divine source. You have nothing to worry about. Everything that happened to you in your life right now, you may think that, why did this happen? It's, it's a divine detour. You were meant to go through all that, to experience something, learn a lesson, feel the contrast. It could be anything. Don't even try to figure it out. It was meant to happen. But now you are here where you are. Now bring your awareness to the present moment and now match your thoughts to your emotions right everything will work out all right aries now final message from your spirit guides look at this beautiful card and the message is trust your own understanding this is a message about intuition right and right now this is number 32 and the message is the information you are receiving is reliable and accurate. Look deeply into the situation before making any commitments. You have the foresight and ability to discern that there is more here that meets the eye. Everything will, will be revealed to you in appropriate timing. So right now, listen to your intuition. Listen to your instincts. That is how your angels and guides speak to you. If something feels like it is off, it is off. If something feels right, it is right. Not easy or hard. Don't worry about easy or hard. For example, Going to the gym is not easy, but it feels right. Eating junk food is easy, but it feels wrong. Do you see what I mean? Go off a of feeling, and right now your intuition is guiding you somewhere. Close your eyes, 
Breathe in, breathe out, palms up, just meditate for five minutes, think of nothing, and the answers will come, will radiate out of you, you'll know exactly what your next step is. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe, I truly appreciate it. Till next time, ignite your superpowers.